The iFlight Protect 35 was my first real FPV drone. The Cine Whoop was a great choice to start following people on mountain bikes and flying indoors. I learned a lot with the Protec 35 and upgraded it with a GPS module and the DJI 03 Air unit when it was released. You can find a video of this upgrade here on my channel. With the Avita 2 coming out and joining my family of drones, the Protec became less and less used. The Avita handles all my Cine Whoop cases better, with more safety and much longer flight time on one battery. So the Protec became obsolete and I wondered what to do with it. Selling the whole drone would not be economical for me. So I decided to find a new frame that would fit most of the parts. According to the size of the motors, it had to be something between a 3 inch and a 4. I saw some reviews of the JEPRC Domain 3.6 and Domain 4.2 and decided to go with the 3.6 version. And this is how it went. First, I disassembled the entire drone, leaving all connections as intact as possible to avoid unnecessary soldering. It was a bit painful to completely disassemble the drone, which had been optimized with a lot of dedication. The O3 Air unit with the custom camera mount, as well as the relocated USB port for easy data access, had taken a lot of work. Finally, the domain frame arrived. It is my first frame from JEPRC and the quality looks great. Unfortunately, the mounting sketch does not cover all sides and it is a bit of try and error to get the arms of the drone in the right direction to the base plate. But finally, I managed it. After the frame base was assembled, I checked to make sure everything would fit. The cables of the rear motors were too short. So I have to add an extra cable here. The AIO flight controller has to be mounted at 45 degrees. I decided to print a thin custom adapter. Let the soldering begin. I removed the rear motors from the ESC and also the power input cable because the domain came with a built-in power connector in the frame. The GPS cable had to be extended. So I made an extension cable with a female and a male connector to bridge the missing length of the cable. For the motors, I used some old cables from a broken motor to extend the length of the cables. A lot of soldering for a few centimeters. Since only the top of the flight controller was coated, I decided to coat the bottom as well. After that, I mounted the flight controller to the custom adapter and put everything on the frame. Also, all the motors to check the length of the existing and extended cables. After cutting and soldering the motor cables of the rear motors, I connected everything for a dry run. Time for a first test to make sure everything is connected correctly. I used a smoke stopper for the first power up after soldering the flight controller and ESC. Sounds and looks good. No smoke and the remote is directly connected. The last challenge was to fit everything into the frame. Receiver, air unit, cables, and the rotated flight controller. The side plates had to be cut because the flight controller was mounted at a 45 degree angle. Not the first time I had to make hard cuts in some side plates. My Nazgul had the same fate when I upgraded it to the O3 Air unit. Finally, everything was assembled and the drone was ready to fly after some changes in Betaflight. I found a preset on the homepage of JEPRC. To be honest, I did not keep all the settings and tuning because I fly with different motors and a different flight controller. I changed the PID tuning to be a bit more responsive and aggressive compared to the Protec settings. Time to go outside and test the recycled drone. I have no idea how it will fly and if the concept will work. After waiting for some satellites, we are ready to take off. Okay, the drone is very stable and everything seems to work fine. 
The stick inputs are a little to less sensitive, but this can be changed with the PIDs. Let's see if this drone is more agile than the ProTech. Okay, it's definitely a lot faster than before. The drone is a lot of fun, hard to compare to the drone before. But for freestyle, I have to adjust some settings. The drone struggles when it tries to stabilize after a dive. All in all, I'm very happy with my decision not to sell the ProTech, but to reuse all the parts in a new frame. The Domain is a fun little drone that was missing from my collection.